Hello guys, you're welcome to a new tutorial series on how we can create an auto reply bot for our WhatsApp account. So we're going to be making use of this using Python framework, which is Flux, and also using the Twilio API. So um, this Flux bot is going to be useful, most especially this WhatsApp bot is going to be useful for a business owner. Maybe you have an account and a user send you a message via WhatsApp. So this WhatsApp bot is going to reply them automatically, of which you don't keep your user waiting. So we're going to implement this using um, Flux framework and the Twilio API. So I'm going to tell you how you can get set up with this um, process. So now what you're going to do is you need to have a Twilio account, of which I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how to create your account on Twilio. So what you need to do is you click on the sign up and then you get started. So I have an account on Twilio whereby I already logged in. So what I did was, let me open. Okay, I have an account on Twilio whereby I click on the messaging tab and I click on send a WhatsApp message of which I already set up my account. Um, I added my my number and i added every details i need to include i'm done with that i ensure to open my whatsapp web just to create a connection with twilio so i already created the connection before so i'm just going to continue to start so use whatsapp web So for people that has a new that have a new account before, so the only thing you just need to do is click on this join down here. Because if you don't do that, your Twilio sandbox wouldn't be active. So I have to do that just to make sure my Twilio sandbox is active. So now we're going to move now to how we can create this WhatsApp bot with Flux. We're going to get started on how we can create our own WhatsApp bot using um, the flat framework. So now what we need to do here is, okay. So what we need to do is, I would like us to create a virtual environment for our projects, whereby we don't have everything mixed up with the normal installation we have on our computer. So to create a virtual environment, you do, So now um, we already created a virtual environment. So we're going to activate our virtual environment now. So we already activated our virtual environment. So what we need to do now is we're going to move straight to our code whereby we are going to um, create a new file. So let's create a new file known as app.py our projects so okay so what we do next is we import um flags and we import twilio so we're going to move to the next um the rest of our code so what we need to do is we create and have our flags app create flags app we include the name We do have the routes. So I'm going to give it an endpoint and I indicate the methods. I'm making use of which is the post method. So now I'm going to create a function for this particular endpoint page and all. So what we can do, we can see here is we have this particular endpoint. Whenever this bot endpoint has been called, so it's going to send this particular message that we have here. It's going to automatically send this message that we have here. So 
So whenever we type anything on our um, on our WhatsApp, so this thing is going to be um, automatically sent to this to our particular um to our WhatsApp. So now let me finish up with the application. So what we have here now is with this endpoint that we have here, just like I said earlier. So after this, the slash bot has been um, automatically called. So it's going to give us thanks for your message. Remember all that same will reach short. And so we're going to test our code now. But have it in mind. You know this particular code is not posted. So we're going to be making use of ngrock for our projects of which we don't need to start um hosting or anything so we can make use of ngrock of which you can create a web link interface with our web with our bots so what you do to create so to set up your ngrock account what you're going to do is you go to the um, your website you click on ngrock download so you ensure to put the download that is the exe file under the folder where you are work of which you are working with so i go back to my folder you can see my ngrog.exe over here so so now i'm going to run this code to test everything that we've done here Okay, so we can see like it is running on the port 5000. So same thing, I'm going to test this, that is get the URL for um, the ngrock endpoint. So I'm going to open another command interface. Okay, so I'm going to test this code. Now we've generated the web link interface. This is the forwarding link for ngrock. So what we're going to do now under Twilio is we need to make Twilio to um, know where we are calling this particular endpoint from. That is, we're going to put in the link for our ngrock under the WhatsApp settings on the Twilio um, settings. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So now you go back to the um to the to your Twilio dashboard. So what you do is you look at the WhatsApp message settings. So you go under the settings. So you click on WhatsApp sandbox settings. Okay, so you can see my WhatsApp sandbox settings. So the link I got from NGROP, I'm going to post paste it under here. So, but mind you, you know we were using the um slash bot endpoint. So we need to indicate this slash bot endpoint here so that whenever we're sending any message, um Twilo can recognize this. So now we're going to move to our WhatsApp um using the Twilo number that we have. We're going to use this to test. So let's say I tap, I type any any kind of message. So this is going to create an automated message for me. Okay, we have internet server. I need to. Okay, that means we have a. Okay, we have an error in our code. So what we need to do is, I think there's a mistake. I need, I need to include a string so that when this message response is sending, it will see it as um, a different type. So let's run this again. So let's open in zero once again. So we do in zero is it five thousand. Is the port which after is running? 
So we're going to copy the forwarding links and indicate this here. So we'll put the slash codes once again. So now we can now go back to the testing part. So let's test once more. So now you can see like it sent you a message. Thanks for your message. A member of our team will reach you shortly. This message can be can be changed to maybe thanks for your message. But um, this is the items I'm selling or any other message that you want to configure with this particular your WhatsApp account. So with this um Twilo um, number that you have here, you can configure a number for your own account. So you can check this under Twilo to know how you can do that. So this is just a simple um WhatsApp message of which you can reach out to your contacts. Maybe they are trying to reach you just to um put them on hold, just to inform them that you are going to reach them shortly or any kind of message they want to send to them. So now let's go back to our code just to um, have a summary of everything that we did. So from what we did here, we import our libraries from the two lines, two, um, number one and two lines. So the next thing is we create an a app for our flags app, and also we create um, the endpoints for our flags, and then we create our function. So just in case you are looking on how you can create your own um flags bot or maybe a whatsapp bot your whatsapp or to reply bot you can do this with flags which you can try to possibly post your application with your different web hosting company or whatsoever so you can do this using flags framework so this is the end of this video please like and subscribe to my channel i would love to see you next time